Now under the introduction to hemodynamics, now we will talk about the blood pressure and the factors regulating blood pressure. Now the lateral pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of the blood vessels is called as a blood pressure. Now this is a uh, this is a blood vessel which uh, I have shown over here. Now the blood is flowing uh, through this blood vessel and uh, this arrow it shows the lateral pressure. Now this is a lateral pressure which is exerted by the blood by the circulating blood. So the lateral pressure exerted by the circulating blood on the walls of the blood vessels is termed as the blood pressure. Uh, there are two types of blood pressure one is a systolic blood pressure other is the diastolic blood pressure. Now systole, systole means contraction that is the blood pressure during contraction of heart is called as a systolic blood pressure. Now when the heart contracts it pumps the blood forcefully into iota and all the other arteries. Now the pressure produced within the arterial system during the contraction of heart is high and it is called as systolic blood pressure. Now in a normal adult uh, the systolic blood pressure is about 120 mm of mercury. Uh, the second type of blood pressure is the diastolic blood pressure. Now during complete cardiac diastole both the atria as well as the ventricles relax. Thus the blood pressure is comparatively less in the arterial system and this blood pressure is called as the diastolic blood pressure. It is about 80 mm of mercury in a normal adult and normal blood pressure is defined as the systolic blood pressure uh, by diastolic blood pressure and therefore the normal blood pressure in a healthy adult is about 120 by 80 mm of mercury. Now when we talk about uh, factors regulating blood pressure, there are two main factors uh, on which the blood pressure depends. Now uh, blood pressure is equal to cardiac output into peripheral resistance. Now let's see what is cardiac output. Cardiac output is the amount of blood ejected from the ventricles each minute. Now this cardiac output it is equal to uh, stroke volume into heart rate. Now stroke volume is the volume of blood ejected during one contraction of the ventricle and it is about 70 ml. Now heart rate, heart rate uh, the heart contracts about 72 times per, mi per minute and therefore the heart rate is uh, 72 uh, beats per minute. So cardiac output is equal to stroke volume that is 70 ml into 72. So cardiac output is uh, approximately 5 liter. On uh, the other hand, the other factor on which the blood pressure depends is the peripheral resistance. Now peripheral resistance is the resistance exerted by the walls of blood vessels against the flow of blood. So again this is a diagram, this is the diagram of a blood vessel uh, and the blood is circulating through this, uh, uh, it is flowing through this blood vessel. Now the pressure exerted or the resistance exerted by the walls of the blood vessels against the flow of blood this is arrow uh, uh, I have shown over here. So uh, this arrow it is a resistance uh, that is exerted by the walls of blood vessels against the flow of blood is termed as the peripheral resistance. Now peripheral re resistance depends upon the uh, cross section of the arteries or the cross section of the blood vessels. Now uh, here I have shown three blood vessels. This is a, a normal blood vessel with the normal cross section. Uh, this is the blood vessel, uh, blood vessel where the lumen has been widened. Uh, so the lumen through which the blood, uh, blood is flowing, this lumen has been widened. This is termed as to be the vasodilation. There is the dilation of blood vessel. Now because of the vasodilation, because of the widening of the lumen, uh, the peripheral resistance falls. Whereas this is a blood vessel where the lumen has narrowed, uh, there is narrowing of the lumen, less space is available for the blood to flow. So there is narrowing of the lumen termed as a vasoconstriction. Now vasoconstriction increases the peripheral resistance. So uh, the blood pressure, blood pressure depends upon the cardiac output and peripheral resistance and the peripheral resistance depends upon the uh, dilation or the constriction of the blood vessels, dilation reduces peripheral resistance and vasoconstriction increases peripheral resistance. Now let us talk about the factors on which cardiac output and peripheral resistance uh, depends. 
Now cardiac output depends upon uh, these factors. The first uh, factor is the stroke volume, higher is the stroke volume, uh, more is the cardiac output. Now higher is the force of contraction of the heart muscles, uh, more will be the stroke volume and that results in higher cardiac output. Second factor on which cardiac output depends is the blood volume, more is the blood volume, more will be the stroke volume and higher will be the cardiac output. Now blood volume in turn depends upon uh, renin angiotensin aldosterone system, it depends upon antidiuretic hormone. Uh, third factor is the heart rate, higher is the heart rate, uh, more will be the cardiac, uh, cardiac output. Uh, then the force of contraction of cardiac muscles as uh, we have already seen that higher is the force of contraction of uh, cardiac muscles, uh, more will be the stroke volume and uh, more will be the cardiac output. Now peripheral resistance, uh, it depends upon diameter of blood vessels, we have already seen uh, with the help of a diagram, uh, vasoconstriction increases uh, peripheral resistance whereas vasodilation reduces peripheral resistance. Peripheral resistance depends upon the elasticity of blood vessels, higher is the elasticity, lower is the peripheral resistance and more is the hardening of blood vessels, uh, more will be the peripheral resistance. Then it depends upon the viscosity of blood, higher is the viscosity of blood, more will be the peripheral resistance, lower is the viscosity of blood, lower will be the peripheral resistance. So these are some of the very important factors on which uh, the blood pressure depends. So this is all about the uh, introduction to hemodynamics, uh, hope uh, you must have enjoyed the session, uh, thanks for watching the video.